Hello, buddy. Blade Axe here. Back another episode of um, tutorials. Uh, I think because um, I did a garage and I've got a car. Why don't we go ahead and make ourselves some roads, yeah? So I've come up with some good road road tutorials, yeah. Um, which would basically work in any situation. So um, I guess let's start with number one, shall we? Now, uh, this is design number one, which I have to say is probably my favourite design. As well, um, we'll look at it. Yes. Well, um, this is what it looks like with both sides. I mean, you can use this basically for anything. I mean, I've used this design like loads for um, like my city build that I'm working on. Um, if you want to see my sort of five-year-old creative world, you can always just uh, comment down below. Oh yeah, Blade, like a video on that. But that's basically the road. Um, I have to say it's one of my most favourite ones because um. Well, it looks the most like a road. The idea behind it is that you have a gap of three, and then two, a gap of three, and then two, and you just repeat that pattern. So it just consists of basically light grey concrete powder, grey concrete powder, a yellow um, concrete powder, smooth stone slabs, a yellow carpet, and then basically any block that emits light, or yellow light, underneath here. So it could be the new... Um, shrooms, shroom light, whatever that is, and the glowstone torches, either work. Um, if you use torches, um, uh, to light this up underneath, yeah, you will get this sort of, like, smoke particles. If we look uh, long enough, um, you'll see some. I mean, it's ba barely noticeable, yeah, it still emits light, but... Well, well, never mind. Um, I'm pretty sure it does that anyway, but it might be just the Xbox version. Anyway, I guess uh, on to design two. Um, that's sort of the main road. I guess design two is kind of a. Uh, it's more of a rustic uh, design, I would say. Uh, the, I, the idea of just mixing gravel, with paths, and dirt in. Maybe you have like a sort of a. I guess if you wanted to do like a medieval theme or something, and you've got your horse and you're going down here like that. I think that really works like um like for maybe a forest design or something. So that's design two and five. Um you know, basically all the blocks in my hot bar, just mix them all in to just be like a bit of like oh, maybe you want a bit of horse dirt in here. A bit of natural dirt, see like that. And you just mix it all in, you see a bit like that. Um so it's grass path, gravel, cobblestone, coarse dirt, dirt, and grass block. And now on to design three. Now design three is more of a, a posh sort of uh, design. I mean, it's really simple, like really simple. It literally is just just these three blocks. I guess maybe like a town square or something. And you like, uh, I just think maybe you wanted to have a bit more posh. Again, using the smooth stone slabs to make a sort of bump to differentiate it from sort of anything else. Maybe you could use a bit of gravel here to like do something like that. But it doesn't really fit the theme I wouldn't don't think. So um and like the, another benefit of doing this sort of thing is that you can have it as like a sewer a sewer maybe. Like uh if we just go get ourselves a trapdoor, uh get myself a spruce one. Because you could always be like uh maybe you want to have a drain in here or something. Go in. Um and then you're going to have to go for the drains. You could do something like that for like a bench and map puzzle or something. So you know, dot those along the sides. So I guess that's that's design three. Um, you know, there you go. I guess design four. Now design four is a bit of an interesting design. Yeah. Um, I guess it's more of like a wild west theme or something. Now, in keeping with theme, we've had these sort of spruce uh, to try and guide you I guess towards sort of the end goal. As you can see it slowly curves um, that's better of you I guess. Um, as it slowly curves you can sort of see where the, the, sh the sand and all the differentiation cover colours are trying to lead you. I think this is a good design if you're in like the mesa or desert and you're trying to make a sort of path I think that's a good design. Um, but still out of the four I'm kind of going between these three. I'm I mean, you can use this uh, as like a design, but just remember again, Wild West theme. I think that's basically where it would fit in the most. 
And then um, I guess on to our last design, design number five. Now, design number five, I would say, is quite the sort of the grand one. I decided it fit it fit fit better with sort of having the the lamppost designs. I've got a load of these, so I'll probably do that as the next video. Uh, but I do have something else in mind. Um, so this is kind of like a grand sort of maybe something a bit more grand than that. Uh, maybe like a big building you could have here. Um, and like this is sort of late game because you've got the beacons along here. Really sort of shows your wealth. You could have this raised by like a, maybe like a slab. Uh, so you get like a cut stone down slab and just use this as like a... You just raise it up like this. That works quite nice, I have to say. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you could. And then have like um this at the... this here. So like... Like that, I guess. Um, but it's up to you. So, um, you know, that was five road designs um i'll leave it here for a bit just so you can look at it and then maybe you want to take a screenshot so that's five road designs We've got design number one that is the sort of modern road design number two we have like a rustic road design number three sort of maybe posh uh, high street i guess design number four wild west sort of road and design number five sort of the sort of rich end game sort of posh road i guess again so um that was blade axe thanks for watching and uh hope you enjoyed um i guess subscribe like but more importantly subscribe blade axe out